Yo, yo, what is up? So in this tutorial, we're going to be setting our button styles. So in Elden Ring, when you uh, when you open up the, the main menu, it automatically sets uh, the first the first button uh, to have this this style. And then when you unhover it, it keeps that style. And then when you hover over a new one, it gets rid of the uh, the style and then un unhover and it keeps. And uh, yeah. So we're going to be doing that. We're also going to be hiding our um, continue game and load game buttons based on if we have a save game. So, yep, that's what we're going to be doing in this this one. So let's just hop into it. All right. So let's go ahead and hop into our main menu level. And we want to let's just give it a little test here. So yeah, we want to set all of these styles because right now they're not they're not doing what we want so let's go into our blueprints widgets main menu widget and we're gonna go into the graph here and we got a lot of stuff to do here so first thing we're gonna do uh let's go ahead and hide our continue and uh load game based on if we have a save game so right here we're gonna grab a do once so press o on your keyboard and click i'm gonna get a do once then after this, we're going to see, does save game exist? And then we're going to grab a branch, so press B on your keyboard and click. And if one doesn't exist, we want to um, grab in our continue game button. We're going to get that, and we're going to pull in our load game button and get that one. And we're just going to pull off of these and set visibility uh, on the false. And we're just going to copy this. Uh, actually, we want to change this to hidden. Let's change that to hidden. And then we're going to copy this. Control C, Control V. We're going to plug this in and we're going to change these to visible. So what this does, it, see, it, it checks to see if we have a, a save game. And uh, in the slot name, which we're going to, you know, once we build the slots later, we'll have to change some of this. But um, but yeah, it checks to see if we have a save game. And if we don't, it's going to hide these buttons. And if we do, it'll show these buttons. So if you open up and look, uh, that did not work. Why not? Let me see. Um, Oh, we need to, we didn't hook our return into the branch here so yeah hook this return into the boolean as the condition so let's see so yeah we don't have a save game so yeah those buttons are hidden and we got these so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of automatically um like set focus to this new game uh and uh set the style of it so next thing we're gonna do is we're going to set focus uh set keyboard focus this is going to control uh it says keyboard but what this does is it actually controls your controller focus um and we're going to set the focus to our new game button right here and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a scroll, forget what it's called, but let me find it. Um, scroll, let me just find it. Might need to uncheck context sensitive. Let's see, actually, let's pull in our um, game selection scroll box and we'll get that. Then we're going to do scroll. Let me check that back. Uh, nope. Let's uncheck that. Okay. So what we need is the, uh, grab your game selection scroll box. We're going to pull off this and we're going to get scroll in into view. Uh, scroll widget into view. And we're going to plug this in. And the one we want to scroll into view is going to be our new game. So let's just copy this and plug this into the widget defined. Let's just pull this back a little bit. 
and we're going to change the scroll destination to center like that so now uh when you play it'll automatically scroll that up since those other buttons are gone it'll put this one at the top and it'll put it into view so we're going to do the same thing on the uh on this one for if we do have a save game uh we also need to set the focus so we're just gonna grab our continue game and we're gonna pull off we're gonna set focus to our continue game like that and like i said set focus or actually no not set focus we want set keyboard focus set keyboard focus so yeah like i said this controls um the where the controller is focused so this is basically our on hovered for um our, a controller so when you set focus to a button that is what the controller is focused on so we're just going to copy this right here and paste it and instead of new game button we want to uh get our continue game button like that so yeah if we have a save game it'll set the uh continue game into focus and it'll you know just keep the uh continue game uh scrolled at that part and then if we don't it'll put the new game button as focus and scroll to that one so now what we need to do is on our on hovered over here oh actually one more thing one more thing over here we need to set the style of these uh from the beginning so we're gonna grab our new game button here copy and paste it and we're gonna set style uh like this and we'll hook that in and basically what set style does is it basically just gives you the controls so let's find our new game button right here uh it basically just gives you the controls of all of these uh, normal, hovered, pressed, disabled, all of these. And you'll see that here in a second. So let me just pull this back. And what we want to do here is on the end style right here, we're just going to pull off of that. We're going to make button style. And then off of the normal, we're going to make slate brush. Like that. And... We want to, in the normal, we want to set the image to be our uh, UI image. The one that we're doing for on hovered. So just click on one of your buttons and we'll find our hovered image here. So we're just going to hit the search bar on that. Go back to the graph and we're just going to hit that button right there. And compile and save. And... Uh, I think we just want to plug this into the normal and hovered and then on the pressed we're also just going to copy this make slate brush and plug it in and we're going to make it uh the same image but we're going to change the tint on it so make slate color you pull off of the tint make slate color and we're just going to set this uh saturation down and we're going to make the value a little bit darker. So now let me just check that uh, on the new game. When you press it, it'll just kind of, you know, make that button a little darker. And also now when you unhover it, it keeps that it keeps that background on it. But as you can see, if we go over the other ones, it doesn't change this. So we need to change uh what happens when we hover over all of these buttons so let's do that this part is done uh so we can comment this so we're just gonna highlight it all press c on your keyboard and we're gonna call this sets um button focus uh and style based on save game so we'll comment that and we're gonna need to do some stuff in our on hovered events over here so we're just gonna pull all of this stuff down because we're gonna need a lot of room here 
we'll just move all of these way way down and we're gonna make our comment way bigger and let's pull this down a bit more we're gonna need some room and we'll pull this down so it doesn't go into that over there and we're just gonna pull the side of this way over like this and we're gonna start with our uh, new game first since that's the one we can see right now so we'll just pull all of these down right here give this one some room and what we want to do here is we just want to set the style whenever we hover so we're gonna pull in our new game button get that and we're gonna set style like that and then we're gonna here let me just pull this over uh, in the style we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna make button style we'll just pull this over a little bit more give it some room and then on the normal we're gonna make slate brush and we want to do the same thing here so we'll just go and copy our let me just pull this down so it covers that we're just going to copy our UI button here. You can just hit the search right here to do the same thing that we did earlier. And then we're just going to set that with the back button right there. And we want the normal and hovered to be the same. And then uh, same thing. We're just going to copy this and paste it. We're going to plug in this into the pressed. And we're going to uh, let's just copy our make slate color here. And we're going to do the same thing here. Control V it into the tint like that. Like that. So we'll just shrink these down to kind of save some room. And now that basically is just doing the same thing that it's doing up here. But we want to do it on un on on hovered because once we hover something else uh this up here will no longer be set so we need to do it again here and now what we're gonna do is we need to anytime we hover something we need to set the normal oh actually yeah we may need to make a different one for normal so uh, we'll just test it out this way real quick uh, so basically, anytime we hover something else, we need to set the normal image to go back to none. So that way it gets rid of it. So we'll just copy all of this right here and paste it down here and plug it in. And we're going to pull in all of our other buttons. So our we're on the new game button here, so we need every other button. So we're going to get our continue game button. We're going to delete the new game from here. And we're going to plug this one in. And then we'll get our load game button. And we'll hook that in. Then we'll get our system settings button. And we'll plug that one in. Then we'll get the information button plug that one in and then we're going to get our quit game button and plug that one in and we'll just move this up a little bit basically what we want to do here <clears throat> we'll just pull this down is we want to set the normal of all of these so we'll just disconnect this right here we'll copy and paste this in we want to plug this into the normal and we're just going to drop this down and we want to want to go into the image here we're going to type in none they have this t none bc and basically we're going to set the normal of anything else to not have that image anymore so that way when you hover over something else it won't keep the uh that image around it you know that kind of indicates that that's what has focus and what's selected so now we just need to copy and paste this onto all the other buttons. So. 
Let's do that. We're going to make some room here. And we'll move some of these down. And we'll go to our system settings button next. And we'll just copy all of this. Control C, Control V. And we'll hook it in. And we can leave all of this the same. But we need to change the button to be our uh, system settings button. So let's grab our system settings button. And we'll hook that in. And unplug the new game button. And we'll move this over there. Because we're going to replace the system settings button here with our new game button. And we'll just give that a little test real quick. See if it's doing what we need it to do. So we're going to play. And when we hover over system settings, it gets rid of the one on the new game. When you unhover, it keeps that. And you go to the new game, it gets rid of the one on system settings. So yeah, we just need to do that for all the buttons. Alright, so we'll hop back into the graph. And we'll just kind of pull this up a little bit. Pull this one up a little bit. And we'll copy all of this right here. Control C, Control V. Uh, we don't need the play sound. Let me just delete that. I accidentally copied that one as well. So just pull this in like that. And now we need our information button. So we'll just pull in our information button. Plug that in, disconnect the system settings, and we'll move this over here. Uh, that one got moved, so let me move that back up. And we want to get rid of the information here. And replace that with system settings. Let me just move that, so now we can test that one out. So, system, information, system, new game. Looks like it's working. So now we need to do that for the quick game. So let's do that. We're just going to copy all of this. Don't copy the play sound. So we'll control C, control V. Plug this in. And we're going to hook our quick game bucket button into here. So get your quick game button. And we'll unplug that guy. Hook the quick game in. Move our information over here. We're going to replace the quit game button here. And plug that in. And now we'll check that. Quit game, information, set, uh, system, new game. Like that. And now we just need to do it for our load game and continue game. Won't be able to see it, but it'll be doing the job. It'll be getting it done. Uh, we need a little bit more room here, though. So let's just move. Move this down. Move some of this down. And actually, we need to move this whole thing down. We're going to move this top part up. Give us some room up here. So we'll pull that up, pull this up a bit. Then we're just going to copy uh, this one right here, the uh, new game button. Copy that one, control C, control V, plug this one in. And we're disconnect this, oh whoops, disconnect the new game and then we need our load game button. So let's Pull in our load game button. Hook that in. Replace the load game over here with the new game button. Hook that in. Compile. And save. Now we'll copy this one. Uh, don't need the play sound, so don't copy that one. Control C. Control V. And hook this guy in. Now we need, need to replace the load game button here with our continue game button. 
and we'll disconnect this one over here we'll hook our continue game in and we'll replace the continue game right here hook that in and yeah there we go so that should be good we'll just give it another little test here if you go over the system gets rid of the new game go over information it gets rid of that one you can just go in between them doesn't matter which one you go to and it sets those right so the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to kind of organize this a little bit uh put some comments around some of this we're also going to change the name of this so we're just going to change this to on hovered sounds and style and we're just going to comment each one of these to kind of keep them organized so we know which is which so just highlight them all press c to add a comment we're going to call this uh continue game and we'll just pull this this guy up a bit like that and we'll add a comment around this one this is going to be our load game load game we'll pull this down a bit need to pull everything else down a little bit as well it's kind of overlapping here we'll just pull all of this down and we'll pull this guy up a bit and we'll put a comment on it this is our new game so just call it new game and pull it up here then we'll add a comment around this one this one's our system settings we'll call this system settings and we'll just put this up here and we'll add a comment around this one this one's our information and we'll just pull this guy right in here and now our quit game so we'll add a comment around that quit game and we'll pull it up into here and we'll just you know shrink the the outer box to fit around it a little bit better like this you can also you know check the edges make sure nothing's kind of hanging out because it likes to do that sometimes so we'll just check all the edges yeah it looks like we're good so we'll just pull this side over a bit like that and uh yeah we got it nice and organized and uh yeah i think that's all we're gonna do for this one so if you like the video hit the like button if you're new around here definitely subscribe if you have any questions let me know those down in the comments and i'll see you in the next one peace out